Today, I'm gonna to be making lemon Oreo bars. Um, if you want the recipe, the link will be on TammyDunn.net. I'm gonna link uh, to where you can uh, go get written recipes. That way you can copy and paste it for yourself, print it out, and make these for yourself. So, the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you want to either grease a nine by nine inch pan, or I'm using parchment paper. I enjoy using parchment paper, and then I, I like to be able to pick up the entire thing when it's when it's finished and cut cut the bars instead of cutting them in the pan. I just like to do that, but if you don't have parchment paper, you can certainly grease your pan and set it aside. The ingredients you're gonna need are a uh, one white cake mix. I bought Duncan Hines Classic uh, White. You can buy any brand you want. You need a fourth cup of oil. You need a fourth cup of water. You need one egg. You need one cup of crushed lemon Oreo cookies, which that is eight cookies made one cup. And what I did was I just took eight cookies out. I put them in a Ziploc baggie and I crum crushed them up. It does get messy because of the, the, the cream in the middle, but that's okay. You just, you know, wash your hands after. Um, but that was eight cookies in case you want to know. And then we're going to make a glaze once these bars are finished. So for the glaze, you need one cup of powdered sugar and one to two tablespoons of milk. So we're not gonna use the milk or the powdered sugar right now. I just wanted to, to show it to you that those are all the ingredients you would need, which I don't think is bad at all. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cake mix and pour it into a bowl. And then you're gonna add your oil, water, and your egg, and you're gonna combine the three. Hey. The instructions did say that the batter would be thick. It is very, very thick. Um, if you so if you want to use a mixer you can uh, I chose not to because the directions didn't specifically say to use a mixer a mixer there are um, little lumps in it but that does not bother me so I'm gonna pour this into my pan spread this out evenly and it is it is very thick you want to take your crushed Oreos and you want to sprinkle them over the top going I didn't know they said use a cup but then you never know completely how many to use I'm actually gonna get some more out so this will make it 10 so you didn't have to use a ziploc bag like I used uh, I told you I used earlier I didn't show it to you because it was messy you could just use your fingers good but I think I'll use one more I don't need it, but I mean, it's it's lemon bars, right? So you want it as lemony as possible. <laughs> One more. I keep going. <laughs> okay, so 12. 12 Oreos total is what I used. You can use as many as you want. Okay, so what you do is you take these, press lightly into the batter like this. And these are going to bake for 25 minutes and then we'll be back. This was in for exactly 25 minutes and this is how it looks. So now I'm going to let it cool completely and then we're gonna make our glaze. I have allowed my, my uh, bars to sit for about an hour. So now I'm gonna make the glaze that goes on top. So you just put your cup of powdered sugar and you're gonna use, it said one to two tablespoons. So I have my measuring spoon here and I'm just gonna, this is two tablespoons in this cup. So I might just end up using the whole thing, but 
just start off with one and then mix it and then I'll, I'll gradually add more. I don't want it to be too thin, so to me, that looks really nice. So now I'm just gonna drizzle this over the top of the bars. not going to use all of this because if I do it's going to hide some of the detail of the bar so so you do have a little bit left in the bowl but I'm, I'm just not going to use it all so what you want to do now is cut these so like I said I like to use parchment paper so that I can pick the entire thing up and it's easier so that's what I'm going to do and that's how easy that was that's why I use parchment paper as you can tell for many, many, many years, we did not use parchment paper, and this, these marks in this pan have come with a lot of cutting. So now, uh, not only did it come out clean, but I don't have to wash this pan. The pan's completely clean. So that's, uh, that saved me some time there as well. So now I'm gonna cut these into bars. Try one. Okay, what am I? You're eating. <laughs> hey, and Kevin was not in here during the this process. I was this, work. This is a lemon Oreo bar, so technically you should probably be able to pick it up with your fingers and eat it. I don't know. It's a bar, so I picked it up. There's yep. the bottom of it. Yep. It's pretty firm. Hmm. You definitely get the lemon. That's delicious. I think that is delicious. Soft cake, crunchy mm -hmm. cookies, super sweet. Mm -hmm. It probably didn't even need that glaze on there to be as sweet. Although the glaze adds It more. makes it pretty. Yeah, it does make it look nice. I, mm -hmm. I told her she did a good job on the, on the mm -hmm. glaze. It's very I think good. that is delicious. I love, love, love the texture of this. Mm -hmm. The soft cake mm -hmm. with the crispy Oreo and you really taste that lemon. Yeah, I think you could do this exact same bar using all different kinds of Oreo cookies. You mm -hmm. could pick your favorite. You know, we they were called lemon just because of the lemon Oreos, but you could pick your favorite Oreo and substitute it and crumble that over the top and make those bars. So the only lemon in this is the cookies? Yes. Wow, that's and impressive. Yes, because it is a strong lemon. Mm -hmm. You would not know that the only lemon came from the cookie. No. You no. would think you need some kind of... Oh, like a lemon cake or something almost. Yeah, and it's not. It's it's just, that's what I'm saying. You could use any, you could make mint bars by you using could. the mint Oreos. or I mean, there's carrot cake. Yep. There's all kinds of Oreos out so yeah you could do this with any kind of oreo and you know like you saw during the process i went from using eight oreos to sprinkling on top and discovering oh i'm gonna need more like 12 oreos to satisfy me you could use more or less just depending on what you wanted and make it your own well the amount you used is perfect because that flavor is very very um, i good. love it yes strong lemon but not overpowering lemon. so the so. recipe suggested a cup i used i definitely used more than a cup because i used um you saw with eight eight crumbled up it really filled up a cup so by me using 12, yes, that went over probably, I guess, more like a cup and a half, but it was well worth it. it it's hard to get a cup with crumbled up stuff anyway. It is. Because you get all that air space, you probably and are you shaking have, it and probably. tapped it and it would have went down. And a lot that. of cream and it gets all over the place and you lose cream and yeah. the cream gets stuck inside the bag. So it's hard to measure. Honestly, and I probably wouldn't uh, put them in a Ziploc baggie to crumble them up. I would just use my fingers and, and then just... Then yeah. just wash your hands after yeah. you're finished. It's gonna, your hands are gonna get messy. Who cares? You know, it doesn't matter. Kind of like crumble up like you would crackers. Yeah, exactly. And you're gonna get that cream all over your fingers, but you know. At least it's left in the recipe, not in the bag. Exactly. I've noticed that before. Yes, I because I, 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 I wasted a lot in the bag, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. But the flavor still came through. Oh, yeah. These still are excellent. really, really yeah. good. This is a recipe you should definitely try. 
Yes, absolutely. So um, once again, go to TammyDunn.net and I'm going to have the link to where you can go to get these, uh, the recipe. And thanks for watching.